Finally, after examining what a religious leader says about themselves and their personal lives, I think I would look at their actual writings and see what they convey. Since the Malka didn't tell us anything about the sealed portion, why don't you let me do it? To begin, where the Book of Mormon calls itself another testament of Jesus Christ, which title was added to their book in the 1980s by the LDS Church, Namelka says in the uh, sealed portion of the record that the book includes all things which God shall reveal, and therefore it shall be the greatest source of scripture that hath ever been given to the world. And then we come to the actual content, and we have to remember last week, Namelka said he used a Urim and Thummim, and from those it came the words. Now, he has a whole bunch of different versions on this, but because he admits that he deceives people for their benefit, that we're not only not sure how it happened, but he said on the show last week that he actually translated by placing the Urim and Thummim on there, so we would have to think that the book shouldn't contain error. But in, S but in SP 5941, it says Passover was the day in which all the firstborn among the children of Israel were destroyed by an angel of God. Christopher, the children of Israel weren't destroyed by the angel of God. The firstborn children of the Egyptians were. Urim and Thummim, perfect book, greatest book in the history of the world. SP 457 says it was the custom of the Jews was to father and choose a husband for his daughters. The custom was for the father to choose a wife for his sons, Christopher. Again, Christopher. SP 2579 says the brother of Jared was not a direct descendant of Noah. Where did he come from? How did he get here on earth if he didn't, wasn't a direct descendant of Noah? SP2 says animals have sex to reproduce offspring. We have sex for enjoyment only. Maybe you do, Christopher. Uh, <laughs> But I think kids uh, are part of the equation. SP 1756 says that within a woman is the power by which she may create only one child at a time. So she has the power to squint and just make sure she only produces one child rather than two, according to Christopher's most marvelous work in a wonder. Uh, SP 730 says the sun and stars receive their, the moon and stars receive their light from the sun. The stars do? SP 36, 8, 58, and 61 says, God doth not speak to man through the written word. That was convenient. SP 39, 60 uh, instructs the reader to follow Christopher. Surprise. Like the Book of Mormon, there are literary guffaws and illogical phrases in the sealed portion, like empirically invisible. Ooh, what does that mean? Unknowingly find there shall be no exceptions except... Until I hear I, and or do not hear, this is in the book, until I hear and or do not hear, and expect an answer or lack of an answer. Truly an inspired book. And where Joseph Smith made Jesus a created being, sired by a father in a body of skin and bone, and our spiritual brother, Namelka, like every other antichrist, goes beyond the pale to create another Lord entirely. Listen to this garbage from the sealed portion of what he says about Jesus. You ready? Jesus is dishonest. He does not present himself as true. SP 5369. Jesus is misleading. He commands others to lie and not tell the truth. SP 15.5 and SP 15.4. Jesus is deceptive. He winks at deception by conspiracy. SP 47, 24, 25.
Jesus is cruel. He is the cause of people stumbling. SP 3596. Jesus is lawless. He is the cause of contention and confusion. Contention is spelled wrong. SP 5913. Jesus is unreliable. His constant countenance fluctuates. SP 5123. Jesus is cowardly. He hides as fear of arrest, SP 59, 3, 4, and 5. Jesus is underhanded. He ordains women in secret, SP 6043. For fear of persecution, SP 6119. Jesus is preferential. He favors his disciples over his wife, allowing them, but not her, to touch him at a shared interval. SP 60, 3643. Jesus is detrimental. He places stumbling blocks in his brother's way, SP 3588. Jesus is inconsistent. He performs ordinations, yet sorroweth in the formation of any organized form of religion where men are called upon to perform in the offices and appendages of the priesthood. SP, 15, SP 912. Jesus teaches that sodomy is superior to love between a man and a woman. And it is done in the kingdom of our Father, SP 3982. Jesus is adulterous. Why sealed in marriage to one woman, SP 4546, he lends himself out to other women, SP 4547, for the sake of carnality, SP 4553. Jesus is uh, impossible to procreate, SP 4542. Mortal beings lived and died before the arrival of Adam and Eve, SP 7, 4 through 5.
There are no males or females in parts of heaven. SP 510. All spirits are without gender. You choose your own gender at birth. Prayers of blessings over the food are forbidden because the food is already blessed, SP 1196. Our prayers are not heard by the Father, nor are they heard by the Son, SP 844. Satan is a provider of happiness. Satan is a teacher of the things of the Father, SP 1572. Satan's plan is glorious. There is glory in the plan of Lucifer, SP 3111. Satan gives power, SP 4843. Satan gives wisdom, SP 1570. Satan has the power to procreate. Lucifer became incarnate, SP 1524. He impregnated Eve, SP 1536. Before the fall, SP 1558, with her first son, SP 162. Boy, these are insightful things. The Bible is so horrible. I just can't even believe how terrible it is compared to this miraculous, this miraculous discovery. From the, from the mind and heart of this magnificent man. I think we're done. I think we've nailed the coffin shut on the man who stood here and demeaned the Bible, who was no different than the man Joseph Smith or any other religious charlatan who comes along in this day and age and says, you can't trust it. It's no good. It's a myth. And then has the audacity to say, read my books because I am so inspired and so magnificent and so well-read. But the point remains, the heart of the matter is this. Latter-day Saints, what makes Namelka any different from the non-biblical teachings of your founder?